So your other really big role that you're most known for, Don, on Days and Confused, could you talk to us a little bit about that role and your experience with that movie? Um, so, so that, that character was, I wanted to play the guy that I never was, which was the, the drunken kind of whirling dervish nightmare shipwreck right. of a teenager, you know? And I, I kind of, you know, they, I, we got the wardrobe and it was like overalls <laughs> and I was like pig pen. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going all in pig pen. And I, I kind of wanted to keep it that way, but they were like, no, nah, you got to put in some, put on something cool for the night. I'm like, I want to just want to, I just want to be pig pen. I want to be the drunk idiot guy. And I still was able to do that, but I had to change the outfit. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my, that was the kind of what we agreed on you know, what I should be. And, and then, you know, we had our, okay. our friendships, you know, cause we had two weeks of rehearsal. So everybody had a, di- had a different energy kind of about them. And we were, you know, we were all in Austin and we were rehearsing and it was like, we were finding fun things and nuances and shorthands. And, um, and it just, that was one of those things where like, wow, I think this is going to be something good, you know, cause it felt, very full, you know, it felt very full kind of across the board and everybody was feeling, you know, feeling that energy grow. And, you know, and then Rick was fighting with the producers because they wanted him, they wanted us to not to swear at all, ever, like not one curse word. And there was, and he was, you know, we were watching him fight, you know, for that. It's like, no, what we're doing is something that's real and how kids are. Because back then, you know, you think about that, that era, there wasn't any movies like that for, for kids and they're marketing this thing as a teenage movie. So, you know, think of like breakfast, like breakfast club. What were the big and, teen movies? Like that? Yeah. It was, uh, to an extent. Yeah, yeah. Even, but they were, they were very, they were oh, glossy okay. and kind of sugar coated and bubble gummy, you know, and he yeah. was, he was, he was like, no, I don't want to do this. And they were like, we're never going to get a release. It's never going to happen. No one's going to see this movie. And he's like, I don't care. We're doing it. Let's, we're doing it this way. And then we were fighting. And so we're watching him fight. We're like, fuck yeah, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> you know, like yeah, we're doing this. this. Is cool, right? We're all like, maybe no one's gonna ever see it, but I think, you know. So it, it felt really loose. You know, it felt really loose. And you know, all the personalities were able to kind of um, bond and find one another. And, you know, they're, they're, they're French, you know, they were, they were, or the friendships were organic, you know, the relationships were organic. They were like, we were hanging out all the time. And then for the second half of the movie, it was all, it was supposed to be at nighttime. So wow. we were shooting all night, every night for a month. And then during the day, we would just go, you know, we would just go fuck off. We would like go, let's go to the river. Let's go. Right. Cause you're supposed to be kind of like tired yes. and drunk anyway. <laughs> so we were just embracing. We'd stay up all night and, you know, maybe stay up all day the next day or, you know, so our clocks were totally upside down. Right. Um, but as a group, you know, and so we all nice. shared that, like, Oh, you know, everybody was punchy, you know? Um, because, and, and I think that's the thing that, that, you know, that, that made it, um, cause reading the script, you could, I couldn't, I didn't even know what the story was about again. You know, I was like, you read it and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't get it. You know, I have no idea what it didn't feel like who am I rooting for? Right, you know, cause right. was, you know, scripts, you're like, okay, who do you root for? Who's the bad guy? Who's the, you know, <laughs> and this is like, who's, I don't even know who the lead is in this. What is this? You know, it yeah. didn't make, it didn't make sense. And then we um, we saw the first screening of it, and it didn't work. None of it made sense. And the thing that really pulled it to- together was the music. Uh, I mean, if you look at it again with the lens that look at it as a music video, because it's it's genius. Like he, you know, it's just uh, it's a constant music, and it's, it's right. dialed in. Because we saw a version of it when it was not dialed in, probably the same, probably the same exact version. And we were all we all walked out of there went just going oh my god I don't, I I don't know what this you know it didn't it didn't work so 
Yeah, it was interesting how kind of for me it was, it was saved by more focusing, oh, you know, on the music because no one thinks about it like that. Mm-hmm. Well, music, we've seen plenty of times where a score can make or break a, a scene. And so, yeah, for a movie, for sure. For sure. For sure. But it's, right. it's like you don't think about that as a viewer, you know. And even right. if it's something, even if something like you watch it and it's like, okay, well, that scene didn't work. You don't go, oh, if I put this music in there or if I did yeah. that, that would that would save it. You just know it, that, that didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure.